Man, it's so cold in the D. Ma, let me quit playing around. Man, um, I, well, I'm not, I'm never a sad person, but I found myself looking at something that's very sad. And what I'm looking at is how we look as black men, how we, how we are acting as black men. Now, some of us don't deserve the title of man. Let's get that clear. But a lot of you males are a representation of some of us men because for one, it's clear to me now that y'all outnumber us. For two, the distinction of being able to tell the difference between a male or a man is something you would have to interact with that person to even know. And a lot of us are being denied interaction because we might have the appearance of one of you. So I can't even get off into us alienating each other right now or, or getting, the, getting the specifics with the differences. So what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna blanket statement all of us. We looking bad, bro. We look very, very, very bad. First off, 70% of you are drug addicts flat out drug addicts i don't care how we want to phrase that or, or rearrange that drug addicts some of us but really i'm just gonna say addiction across the board is rampant rampant i'm not even gonna exclude myself from this conversation that's why you don't see me with the glass as much. You know what I'm saying? Um, what we doing for a dollar? A worthless dollar at that. You got people exposing themselves, and it's like, can't even say nothing about the women and what they doing. Because I see men jumping on the internet to expose each other and expose themselves in ways that's not going to help anybody or make anybody any money tomorrow. It might get you some likes, some, some subscribers, maybe a dollar or a deal today, but that ain't gonna work tomorrow. That's not a good foundation. I look at this, uh, this Jay Prince thing. Like, really, bro? Did you put that many years in the game to go out like that, man? And to be honest with you, that, that aura of entitlement you know, that's a that's a tough thing for me as a father to deal with because the opportunities my kids are provided that I didn't have. So it's on me to make sure they have the respect for life that having opportunities on a whim may take away from you. But it ain't just Jay Prince. The two guys that were sitting next to him who been taking on the position, well, one of them been taking on the position as, as unk to everybody. Now, I can't say he let me down in that shit, but I know he he normally do it a little different. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't go hard in that situation like he did with, with Dirk. And it's like, I we not standing up to the job at all. I don't care if you did make every wrong decision every day of your life up and before today and you decided to do right today like we can't just do a half a half effort like whatever we standing on we need to be standing on i'm looking at this guy that shit giving me a headache by me being a youtuber then i gotta look at other people's youtubes and and and, and, and social media and see what's like going on and it's giving me a headache because none of it is positive and as men, we all indulging in it. You know what I'm saying? We entertained by it. And really, it's not entertaining. Ain't nothing entertaining about a 50-year-old man uh, claiming a gang. Ain't nothing entertaining about a, a 50, 60-year-old man threatening somebody's life. Still on the 27, 30-year-old shit. Ain't nothing, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing fly about it. I don't, I really, I really came from the projects. I really 
Should I really chop crack rocks with safety pins? Bust down eight balls, all that, y'all. And all while I was doing that, my goal was to get away from having to be around some of the shit that I was around. I can't understand why people who make statements like, like, like Whack 100, for an example, he loved to say that his daughter never experienced having a sad walk in front of her house. Kudos. So why are you on the internet trying to sell all our kids this street shit? And then it ain't even real street shit. And then the rules that you over there telling everybody else to follow, you are not following. You are not following, bro. And it's impossible for any of us to, well, it's not impossible for any of us because it is a few of us whose shirt collars is all the way clean, man. But y'all gonna ignore them. So that's where I come in at, cause you can't ignore me. I did what you did and was better at it. This shit is, is whack, man. It's whack, man. I, with the nigga, with the whacking nets. That nigga, uh, and, and, there, and that's the whole thing. Like everybody mad at, Char everybody was tripping on Charleston White. But again, like I said in videos previous, tell me where he wrong at, man. And this shit looks so bad, it's appalling. It is appalling, man. We, R. Kelly went to jail. And not to say he shouldn't have, but I'm sitting there, them parents was culpable. Everybody around was culpable. And not only just R. Kelly shit, when I was in high school, 60% of the decent looking chicks and 60% and, 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 and of the non-decent looking chicks all preferred and had an older dude that, that, that was laying it down on them. Most of the dudes who had a high school sweetheart after they left, or she said she was going to sleep to you, some, she snuck out and wouldn't fuck with some old nigga. Like this been going on since it's been going on, but we not dealing with the issue. We just picking one black part, one black man to blame. And Bob's not dealing with the issue. It's gonna keep happening. So these gonna keep being traps for different black men to be blamed for. And I can't blame them. I got to blame us because how we falling for that shit, man. My man's told me common sense comes from personal experience, and. He was kind of right, but then he kind of wrong because you don't necessarily have to have the personal experience of knowing what you just saw happen to the last person you just saw do this. It's real simple. Everybody saw what happened to R. Kelly. You don't have to get arrested for you to know fucking around with younger girls, adolescents, teenagers is illegal and immoral. Man, I don't know what to say to niggas. Motherfuckers on these podcasts telling you how to violate the federal government on taxes and how to violate banking laws and shit. Like, don't get me wrong. Being able to get a check is cool. But uh, who gonna help you when they come back at you? Like, we just, we killing each other in the worst way, man. And what bothers me is... All of us black men that's just so hard on each other, so adamant about I gotta do something to this man here. We give everybody else a pass. The same rapper or the same uh, uh, influencer or celebrity that just absolutely has to put his hand or some hot shit in another black man, let all of these other races of people slide with their life and they good day after they fucked them six, seven different ways. And you can bet your life on that. Will Smith probably got a couple, not probably. It's a fact he got a couple bad deals and financial advice on his come up. Do you think he put hands on any of them managers? I think not. I think not. Some of them said worse about his wife when they when they booked her to come be in movies as a as a less than role, you think he put his hands on them? No. Only black men. Say so you was ready. Then smaller black men. You was ready to beat up Tommy Davidson, and and you slap Chris Rock. Man, that's what. No matter where I look at, we look bad 
we look fucking bad, bro. I look, I, I, I'm starting to like better when I was a drug dealer. Cause then at least I was separate from the other black men and I looked and was treated a certain way. And I didn't sell drugs in my community for that long any too. Let me throw that in there. I sold drugs in other people's community. And you know how many other black men I saw doing that? None. They was all petrified. They would kill a nigga in front of 1300 Bobian before they would cross eight mile with some cocaine. And that's a fact. And that's some pussy shit too, by the way. Yeah, me the nerd called you a pussy. And I mean, a lot of y'all are. I mean, but I can't just dish y'all cause y'all represent me. Look at Shannon Sharp. He ready to fight at the game when there's some black people saying just trash talking. But you sit across from that white man and let him say all kind of foul shit. I ain't really got no problem with skips. Skips. I ain't do skips. I ain't really got no problem with skips. But shit, Shannon, he didn't disrespect you at least two or three times. He went too far. But I ain't see you jump up and flex your muscles and you don't even need a check. You already got money and getting more money. You got all type of shit going. You don't need to come on now. Huh? Your podcast way better than that show and that's yours. But everywhere I go, you see black men bending, breaking. Now that's a big, strong ass black man, big nigga. But he only willing to fight other niggas, man. And then people say them cops that killed Tyree was wrong. They wasn't wrong. They wasn't wrong at all. Them niggas moving in cold, walking in stride. Cause that's what the fuck we out here doing, killing each other. I, 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 I used to pride myself on being able to say I never shot a gun at another black person. Cause we all know I shot a couple guns before. Up until a black person shot a gun at me. This same black person didn't want to communicate. He didn't want to have a fist fight. He didn't want to solve this problem of these matters in no other kind of way. The best idea he had was to get a fucking 12 gauge shotgun and try, well not try, he shot the shit out of my ass in the driveway in my motherfucking, in, 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 in my Batmobile. That's why I be riding around in the daddy mobile, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry, I'ma get another Batmobile, but shit, I couldn't have just got another life cause some old mama's boy don't know how to handle his emotions. And don't get offended women because hit this mother created this motherfucking animal here. And he spent this whole 50 some odd years on this earth harassing and putting his hands on women. Facts. He ain't do shit else. He never got off his mama's couch. All he did was be, he spent his whole life being her pit bull. He didn't even cut the lady's grass. So when these men out here talking to you, it ain't that we bashing you, it's that we look bad as black men, but all of us was raised by grandma, auntie, or mama. All of us. A few of us had a father or a stepfather, but we all had auntie, grandma, mama, at least one of the three. We all been following the rules of auntie, grandma, mama, and that shit ain't led us to the promised land. And then, that's just speaking on my generation and the, gener and the women that I had at least represented themselves in a very more respectful, responsible, uh, uh, classy way than the women of the day. So, if it wasn't good enough for the women, for the classy, if, if the classy, respectable women wasn't good enough to keep my generation secure, what the fuck you think is going on with this generation behind us, man? And then just look at the men that's older, the generation above me. Oh my God. I'm ready to start passing tampons out to these guys. They emotional as hell, quick to respond, toss a whole lot of threats like my father that's a that was man the most emotional nigga I, man get the fuck out of here these whack 100 niggas man come on come on and and what i'm starting to believe or what i'm starting to see is everybody got a lifestyle that to all of us people that make less than a half a million dollars of a year in a year they have a lifestyle and they portray it to us 
like it's something that we should want. But if you got what you want, why are you fucking with us all day? Why are you entertaining us at work outside of the entertainment you normally do? It's a trick to this shit. All this shit is toxic. And they're representing us as black men to the world. You don't see no positive role models at all. And every single positive role model we have, they tearing down. They didn't kill Bill Cosby with the bullshit. Mike, Prince, gone. Not just gone because they dead, but now anytime you speak of them, you got to bring up child molestation and drug abuse. It's just like Eddie Griffin said, every nigga got to have an asterisk by his name. They done, they ruining Mike they ruin Michael they ruining Michael Jordan. Like now they they ruin Master P. Like I don't give a fuck if Master P uh was lying or not. All his artists had was homeowners. Everybody got paid. Don't nobody say they didn't get paid. All they just had differences with him and how he saw shit or how he talked to people. And now his son come out and just destroy the whole image. I mean, shit, I'm looking at him and his son relationship as an example for how to raise my son. Then his son come out and say what he said. I got to change that. But then it's like white fathers fuck up. Jewish fathers fuck up. Every other race of man makes mistakes. But we the only ones on front street with it. Why is that? And I would love to be like, black women quit doing this, black women quit doing that, but I'm not gonna tell a black woman to quit doing shit because we ain't right. We ain't on our job, we ain't even trying, and we allowing so much bullshit, it is not funny. It's not even acceptable. It's not acceptable at all. It's not acceptable at all. I mean, I don't really know what to say to you guys. You know what I'm saying? And what really bothers me is I'm the ex-drug dealer. Some of you guys been legit your whole life trying to do what's right. Or what we say is, or what we assume is what's right. But y'all doing what we assume is what's right has been more toxic than me selling drugs. 